they are protected. So and so we are working with our officers right now. We are working, of course, with uh, resources provided by the state. Uh, we've authorized uh, mutual aid uh, and a unified strategy so that we can work with different jurisdictions in the area. Uh, you know, it was clear uh, as of last night uh, that we needed additional help. And we got that additional help, some from the state, and we are expecting more as well. I'll say this. We additionally need help from our community. We need to make sure that we need to make sure that people are looking out for our city right now. It's not just enough to do the right thing yourself. We need to be making sure that all of us are held accountable to make sure that we're holding up the highest ideals that we stand by. I, I have Mr. Been, Rand, Mr. Rand, there were people out there tonight that were saying things like, where are the police right now? Where are the firefighters right now? Where's the National Guard right now? Those are all fair questions. Uh, where were the police, firefighters, and National Guard to protect that third precinct and to protect that neighborhood? As you already know, there were more than a few fires that uh, our firefighters had to put out. Uh, there were more than a few incidents of looting that our officers had to attend to. Uh, we are doing absolutely everything that we can to keep the peace. Uh, we have officers that are, that are stationed uh, are around the city in several different locations. We have, uh, in, in many instances, assistance from the state. Uh, that to prevent looting at some of these community institutions that we know will be necessary to get through this pandemic. Um, you know, this is one of the most difficult situations that our city has been through. Uh, I, I'm not going to stand up in here and tell you that there are easy answers to it because there are not. Uh, what I can tell you uh, is that through this pandemic, um, Chief Arredondo has my 100% support. Chief Friedel and the fire department has my 100% support. We're going to be united as a city. So where is the National Guard and how is it being deployed? Who's got that control? Who's making those calls? So many of these uh, questions you're going to want to direct to our chief, who has been working consistently uh, with uh, Harrington from the state. Uh, and many of the National Guard, as I mentioned, were uh, stationed and are being stationed in locations to help prevent some of the looting that we've seen. Like what? Like what, sta what stations? Banks, grocery stores, pharmacies. Uh, Mayor, the, I have the president's tweet here. He sent out uh, two just in the, in the last couple hours. One personally attacking you. A second one uh, that Can says, you read it? Just spoke to Governor Tim Walls, and I told him that the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty, and we will assume control. But when the looting starts, the shooting starts. This is the President of the United States tweeting uh, just a, a little bit ago. What's your reaction to that? What was the other tweet? Uh, there was a, a, an earlier one uh, calling you a radical leftist and a weak mayor. And to, to get things under control, and I have it here. I can't stand back and watch this happen to a great American city. A total lack of leadership, says the president. Uh, either the very weak, radical left mayor, Jacob Fry, get his act together and bring the city under control, or I will send in the National Guard and get the job done right. That was the first of two tweets from the president. Well, let me say this. Weakness is refusing to... Is this a difficult time period? Yes, but you better be damn sure that we're going to get through this. Um, Mayor, some people have questioned whether you made a conscious decision to let people go into the third precinct and offer it up as kind of one of these healing spots that you had referenced earlier in the day. Is that how you were approaching it? No, no. Uh, the decision that I made was for the safety of our officers and the safety uh, of the public. Uh, the the symbolism of a of a building cannot outweigh the importance of life. It's a decision that I did not take lightly. I understand the importance of a precinct, but we are 
able to regroup and continue providing the same service to the third precinct as a geography. Mayor, at what point did you make that decision? I don't remember the exact time. Was it earlier in the afternoon or just a couple hours before it was taken? As situations started to escalate more and more, uh, as we saw more and more people breach the perimeter, uh, as we noted, we have to have our officers at many locations throughout the city to prevent looting and crime. It became uh, obvious to me that safety was at risk, uh, and it became obvious to me that we could take a, a, a different route uh, that would better assist both the public as well as the safety of our police officers. Mayor, can you how many officers were in that building when, when it was breached? you have to talk to the chief. And two, is there a calculus in terms of property versus uh, engaging protesters or being more um, overt with force? Is there, was, is there a decision-making process in terms of building versus engagement? I don't understand your question. I mean, you have a decision to make whether the building, the third precinct in general, some of those businesses on that corner, um, should just be let go, you know, no police responding to it? Or do you um, engage the protesters and clear them off the streets by, you know, any means necessary and the tools that are at your disposal in terms of a heavily, you know, tooled urban police force that I would imagine have, have the tools to clear streets? Yeah, I'm still not following. The, the, the decision comes down to public safety, period. One more question. I'm going to take one more question, yeah. So what do you tell the public in that community that doesn't have that precinct that to work from to help protect the other homes or other businesses? The, the, the resources that we will offer to the people of the third precinct will continue, period. The building is just bricks and mortar. It's a building. What if it does get worse? You talked about the community needs to help, but what if they don't? What is that plan to address that? Uh, I've been in touch with Governor Walls at the state. Uh, again, I, I, we have expressed the need for resources. We are appreciative already of the assistance that we've gotten in the form of, of state patrols. And as you know, we've requested the National Guard as well. Uh, and, you know, we anticipate that those uh, resources will be increasing as well. Mr. Mayor, everybody, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.